Having witnessed a dog having a heat emergency is a really scary thing. And if you guys have seen our channel before, you'll know that our seven dogs are pretty active. With the weather getting a little bit warmer outside and our dogs doing lots of activities, we wanted to really understand the signs of a dog having a heat emergency. So today we reached out to the expert. Dr. Alex Avery from the Our Pets Health YouTube channel is going to tell us the five signs of heat stroke in dogs that every dog owner should be aware of. I'm Ken Steep and welcome back to McCann Dogs. Hi, if we've not met before, I'm Dr. Alex from rpetshealth.com and the YouTube channel Our Pets Health, where my aim is to provide pet owners with the information that they need to help make informed health decisions so that their dogs and cats can live healthier, happier lives. So Ken asked me back to talk to you about heat stroke in dogs and the main symptoms of heat stroke that you really need to know about. Now, this is such an important topic. Heat stroke is a real killer and it doesn't actually have to be that hot. A sudden unseasonal increase in temperature can easily cause heat stroke, even if the actual temperature is not that high. Your dog will not be acclimatized and so the risk is very real. So let's jump into the five symptoms you need to know about to be able to pick up that your dog is developing heat stroke. And the first sign of heat stroke in dogs is heavy panting. So dogs who are active will clearly pant. Very often though, their mouths will only be half open, their tongue will hardly be showing, and they'll also take breaks in panting, especially after a short rest. As a dog's body temperature climbs, however, they will fully open their mouth, their tongue will be sticking right out, and may even become swollen. They will also constantly pant without any stopping, even if they've been resting for some time. And this is a sure sign that they are not out of breath from exertion, they are in fact overheating and at risk of developing heat stroke. Next we have drooling. The evaporation of saliva during panting helps a dog to cool down. As the body heats up, more saliva is produced, so if your dog is really drooling excessively, then this is a good sign that their body temperature is starting to climb and they are having a hard time losing the heat they need to keep cool. Dry red gums is my third heat stroke sign. When heat stroke is developing, all of the blood vessels on the outside of your dog will open up and dilate to try and encourage as much blood to come to the surface so that they lose as much heat as possible. Now this is actually best seen in the gums where they'll go from being a normal salmon pink to a bright brick red. Sticking with the gums, dehydration also becomes a very real risk in hot weather and especially in a dog who is panting and drooling heavily. If your dog is becoming dehydrated, then their saliva will become very thick and stringy and their gums will go from being nice and moist to tacky and dry. Things are starting to become really serious now and the fourth sign of heat stroke in dogs is vomiting and diarrhea. As the inside of the body heats up, the internal organs really start to struggle. I mean, heat stroke effectively cooks your dog. And one thing that you might see is that your dog either starts to vomit or develops diarrhea or even both. And this is because the lining of the intestine starts to become damaged. So there might be fresh blood, or if the heat stroke has developed over a longer period of time, you might notice diarrhea that is black and tar-like. So this is a sign that the lining of the intestines is damaged and that your dog is bleeding into their guts. So my fifth and final sign of heat stroke in dogs that you really need to know about is a change in mental state and other nervous problems. So this might start with your dog just stopping all the time and not really responding like they normally would. They may also become wobbly and then they might start twitching and even develop full-blown seizures. If this doesn't happen though, they might lie down and either refuse or be unable to get up and move. Your dog might look vacant or even become comatose. Now, clearly a dog who has collapsed or seizuring is not in a good way and immediate action is needed. Preferably should obviously act well before they reach this stage and if your dog is showing any of these signs of heat stroke, then stopping whatever you are doing and starting to cool them down quickly is absolutely vital. If a dog is suffering from heat stroke, then actually cooling them before you get to the vet can reduce their chance of dying by a whopping 23%. And I have a separate video over on my channel, Our Pets Health, which goes through a simple five-step plan to cooling your dog quickly. Thanks so much for Ken for inviting me over to talk to you again today. Enjoy the hot weather, but make sure to keep your dog cool at the same time. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, helping you and your pet to live a healthier, happier life. Take care. A big thank you to Dr. Alex and the Our Pets Health YouTube team for sharing that information with us. And if you want to check out his video on cooling your dog down, it's right beside me. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training.